trucks come and go at this gas station in Kingsland. And family members wonder, could one of the drivers be the person who killed their loved one? Anytime I see a semi, I'm like, was it that one? Was it that one? And it's not right to have to constantly guess and feel like you're stuck in a loop with no way out. 24-year-old Ian Lewis was a cashier at Buddy's. He was goofball. He was definitely a goofball. <laughs> On August 27th, 2022, Lewis, his son, girlfriend Michelle, and her daughter were driving home from a concert in Austin. We went to get on I-35 and we're rear-ended. And while trying to get insurance information, a semi sideswiped the truck and the car that rear-ended us and killed Ian. It's an image that will never go away. The driver never stopped. I don't know how that person can still live with themselves knowing they did what they did. I mean, I just, it makes me angry. Because if I did something like that, I can't live with myself. It's now been a year. The family business continues without Lewis and no answers. I can't lose hope that this person either is going to you know, say, hey, this is what I did. I need to turn myself in. I need to make this right. You know, I can't lose hope of that. In hopes she and her family can start healing. Not having answers is one of the hardest parts about it because you feel stuck and everybody just keeps walking on with their life. And it just makes you want to scream. Because it's not fair. You took somebody's family member. You took a father from his child. That's not fair. You, you need to come forward.